Okay, so today I want to share with you guys a few tips and tricks of what I use to do my Google Slides Bitmoji classrooms. Um, I have a few extra advice, um, especially for those that want to just disable the clicking from moving on to the next slide because I know that's a uh, trouble that I ran into and how to add audio to your slides, any voiceovers. Um, anything you pretty much want to do it's not that hard and if you guys are interested just keep on watching hey guys today I want to share with you guys how to make your own bitmoji classroom and I actually am going to start with the background so you just got to click on top of the tools where it says background and you're gonna go on Google search and put I put empty um, empty room background and you will have a bunch of options to choose from Decorating your classroom is basically up to you and your style. You have like infinity possibilities. Now you can have so many options. It's kind of, it's actually kind of um, overwhelming. At least for me, I got really excited. You do want to be careful with some of them because they're kind of like 3D. So they have like an angle to them. So those are a little bit more um, difficult to find furniture at the right angle. So it looks more realistic. Um, if you choose like a plain back, like background, um, it's easier to put furniture and things like that. So I'm actually going to choose this one. I kind of like the wall that's kind of like a teal color. And it looks kind of like a nice little classroom. So I'm going to choose that. And then you want to actually download Bitmoji into your, um, like an add-on to your internet. So I'm using Chrome, so that works perfectly. You just want to go to Google and search um, Bitmoji and you will have to um, download it and just allow it. And then you're going to use either you create an account because it's going to use your Snapchat if that's your option or you're just going to sign up for it. But I have my Snapchat so that's what I used. I logged on. It took me a while because I couldn't remember the, the passcode. But once you're in, you're good to go. Now the add-on is going to show up on the side of the link bar and you're just going to click on it and it'll show up um, your Bitmojis. If you want to change the style and like the way you look, you have to do that on your phone from like the app. But um, for me, I'm okay with what I'm wearing and how I look. So I'm just going to, you have a bunch of options. I'm going to just put random words in there and sometimes they come up sometimes they don't and so i gotta just explore and really find one i was looking for one that didn't have any words on it maybe one of me sitting down so you just kind of have to mess with it a little bit and then you get to know which ones you have i really like that one so i'm just gonna use that and copy and paste um you can use the copy and paste like right clicking on the mouse or you just put um command v if it's a mac so we're going to go to insert image and search on web. Um, the important thing is to put the word transparent and then put the keyword that you're looking for. So in our case, it's a chair. Um, you have plenty of options that won't have a background to it. So it's easier to like manage in, in the PowerPoint. But in case you don't find one that you like, you can always open up a new um, Google tab or whatever and type in the word that you're looking for. So if we just type in the chair, you will have a lot of options to choose from. But you actually want to make sure you type in the word PNG, which means that it's transparent. It won't have a background. I'm just going to be grabbing some other furniture pieces like this desk. I'm going to copy and then I'm going to paste it here which you can see it has no background. I just have to adjust the size and make sure the legs are aligned with the wall in the background. And then obviously I'm going to need a chair. So I got this chair. You have to make sure that your pictures are in the right order. So you do that by right clicking and um, go down to where it says order and you will see the going back, um, backwards, going to the up back, going to the front. So depending on what you're trying to to adjust is what you're gonna adjust the order to and then I'm just gonna put myself on that little chair and I feel like I look a little too small so I need probably to adjust it but I mean it looks pretty good I mean if you're not a perfectionist you're good to go but I kind of adjust my size <laughs> just so it looks realistic and I don't look too small and the chair doesn't look huge but it can't be bigger than the desk so you adjust it according to however you feel 
Now, if you copy and paste a picture that doesn't have um, a blank like background, like these two, um, you can still download them and all you have to do is go to this website that's gonna remove any background. So it works better for the ones that are already kind of like blank towards the back, but they still have those little squares. So you're just gonna go to remove um, BG, just Google it, it'll come up. And you just insert the pictures really fast. It doesn't take that much. It takes probably like a few seconds. Then you download them and then you're good to go. You're able to download them um, onto your slides and they won't have a background most of the time. So there it is. Um, obviously, I, I was thinking of using this chair, but it doesn't really go with the color theme. <laughs> so I'm not going to use it anymore, but um, you get the idea. So if you go back to the whole insert um, image and then browse for another one, you can basically find anything you like. So I'm going to add some banners to these boards that I have on the background just to make it a little bit more fun. And I'm going to crop it because I don't want all of the, the banners. Um, I just kind of want the first one. So I'm going to crop it and then readjust it. And that's basically it. You have your imagination to run with. So... Um, if you're really good at interior design, maybe this is your area where you get to be creative with whatever you want. Um, I'm just trying to eyeball it here. I'm not sure what I'm going for. <laughs> so there's so many items you can add. Like I, if I was doing this for my kids at church, I would add a Bible on the board that they can click on. A lot of people like to add any bookshelves. I like to add an Alexa um, speaker for music. Um, so you can be creative. You can add a bookshelf, um, any posters. I actually looked for specific posters that I had in my classroom and I Googled it and then I just copied and pasted it. So it looks like our classroom in real life. So you can get so creative adding your own materials. If you have certain things that you probably bought from Amazon, you can probably get the picture of it and like, remove the background and add it to it so there's so many things you can do you can type in welcome or whatever you want to announce and then there's so many fonts you can choose from the colors the shading you can change that but you want to make sure that you're including especially if you have more than one slide um uh, like a little click button where they can move forward um i like using arrows so there's plenty of arrows to choose from and then also I included another slide at the very end of my presentation of like logging off. So I actually used a Bitmoji for this, but you can type it or create it however you want. I, am, I also use a see you soon Bitmoji. Now to make your pictures um, clickable, you need to link them. So you need to click on the link icon on the top toolbar and then it'll show you um, what slide you can choose from. You can actually put another link from another website or you can actually choose the slide you want it to jump to. So in my case, for the sake of this video, it's gonna be slide number two. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the exit. You wanna make sure that if you write something on top of it, you either choose the image or the word that they're gonna be able to click on. Um, for this one, I'm gonna put exit and I'm gonna make that clickable. So I'll click on the little link and then choose the slide to go to. So in this case, it's slide number two. You can also add audio to your slides um, if you want sound effects or just the background music. For my class, I had like little questions. So in case they had it wrong or right, they would have a little sound effect when they would click on it. Um, you can adjust the volume for the song or the background music. You can make it um, play automatically once it goes to that slide and you can actually loop it as well. You can hide the icon so when they're, it's on presentation, they won't see the actual little sound effect. So it's like hiding in the background. Or you can make it also stop playing once they move on to the next slide. Once you're done, you want to add one more thing, which is the shape. And I chose rectangular to cover the whole area. This is in case um, you don't want the students um, to be able to click. Because when you're in presentation, if the student or whoever clicks on the wherever in the screen, it'll move them on to the next slide. And there's no actual way to stop this. So one trick to do this is to put this little shape and then make sure that it's transparent so that you can see your actual slide but it will have like a thin little borderline and that will you're gonna link that to its own slide so for this slide i will link it to slide one so in case they do click on anything else 
it'll maintain them on the same slide and it, it won't move them to the next one automatically unless they click on the arrow or whatever you make clickable to move on to the next slide, if that makes sense. And then make sure you just right click and put the order of it to send it all the way to the back. Now to share it, you copy the link and open up a new file. Um, I'm going to show you guys what to do. Um, you place it and then you're going to have to type this in or I'll make sure to put it down in the description box so you can just copy and paste. So you open a Google Doc or wherever you want to type this in and then you paste the original link. Then all you want to do is copy this little section. This will make it automatically be on presentation mode and on minimalist, which means that the little bar that shows up when you're presenting won't be there for the students either to click on. So we're trying to make it as clean as possible. So all you got to do is delete that and replace that with these little words and then copy the whole link and you're good to go. So that's pretty much it. If you have any other questions, leave a comment down below and I'll try to help any way I can. See you guys next time.